What's up? I am Platinum Mike, and in this video, we will be killing every ridden you see and lay out how to get the Platinum Trophy for Back for Blood, the spiritual successor to Left for Dead. Back for Blood is similar in style to Left for Dead, but they have implemented a card system to upgrade stats and modify skills. You will not be able to play and do the hardest difficulty from the very beginning, no matter how much experience you have playing shooters and zombie survival games. You will have to unlock and earn cards, which may discourage some players, but it does offer a sense of replayability as it adds a bit of variety to each run. Back for Blood is not hard. I would say it's a 6 out of 10 at best, but be prepared to play over 100 hours going after this Platinum. If you've ever went after Platinum trophies for other zombie games, this game also requires you to kill over 53,000 zombies, or in this game they're called Riddens. You could actually get most, if not all, with the exception of the 53,000 Ridden Kill trophies in under 50 hours. You can probably cut it down to 40 to 50 hours if you really buckle down though. To start off, play the game on Recruit and learn the basics of how to play. The trophies in Act 1 to 3 are basically complete the section, find a secret in the form of a Golden Skull trophy hidden somewhere in the levels, level difficulty trophies, and Act specific trophies. I'll make a separate video for all the secrets to get the plan. Act 1 has the most Act specific trophies. They are, in order, Nemesis. In Resurgence, safely descend the ladder at the end of the construction zone. Jukebox Hero. Defend the jukebox in the barroom blitz level without it breaking. This can be done on the easiest level, but it is always fun to try. Your best friend here will be barbed wire. Have the barbed wire lay around the jukebox and along the entrances. Use perks so you can hold more quick slots and power quick slot weapons. Then just focus on the stronger ridden when they come out, as most of the regular ridden will be easy pickings after going through the barbed wire. Remember Carly's character perk is to hold more quick slots, so consider her when going for this trophy. Brute Force. Kill the ogre on the last level, the sound of thunder, with the howitzer. If you rush and bring cards to increase your use speed, you can one shot the ogre if you're fast enough. If you miss, you can try and wait and time your shots when he is between the howitzer and the mine entrance. Act 2's act specific trophies are a humorous weapon. Kill 10 ridden with Bob's arm. Bob's arm is found in the handyman level. You'll need his arm to continue on to the next level. Once you get it though, kill ridden with it until the trophy pops. This is the only act specific trophy in Act 2. Act 3 doesn't have any act specific trophies. We'll skip the difficulty trophy talk for later. I'll share what builds I use to help give you an idea of what kind of builds you could use. Instead, we'll talk about teamwork, combat, and miscellaneous trophies. Teamwork trophies include No Time for a Nap, which is Revive a Fallen Teammate. Hippocrates would be proud, heal a teammate. Share the load. Drop some ammo for a teammate. Don't ask. Rescue a teammate from a cocoon. Cleanup crew. Complete a mission without any players being incapacitated or killed. You'll eventually get this as you get stronger and you team up with more experienced cleaners. Squad up. Form a party in Fort Hope. You can join a player after completing an act by pressing the touchpad at the end screen. The trophy will pop when you are back at Fort Hope. You could also invite a friend to join your party. You could do this after an act ends and join someone when they return to Fort Hope. That's how I did it and I was really confused when it happened. Dead quiet? Complete a map without ever triggering a horde from Reekers. Birds, snitches, or alarms. You'll want to try doing this while playing anyway as you get the most currency to unlock rewards. There are combat trophies you'll need. You'll probably do most of them by accident, but a few we will definitely need to go out of your way to do. Snitches get stitches. Kill a snitch without it alerting the horde. Make sure you do this when you don't have the dark corruption card. This isn't so hard as you'll naturally want to do it whenever you see them. Breakfest. Kill a monstrous breaker after removing all its armor. This will most likely be done on Nightmare as breakers may die before removing all of its armor on veteran and recruit difficulty. I used a bat, but explosives from your quick slot should do nicely as well. You can flash grenade them and wail on their armor while they are stunned if you're having trouble. Juggernaut. Make a breaker hurt himself. We lured it into some gas pumps at the gas station in a clean sweep and it popped. This is pretty easy. Apocalypse Pacifist. Complete a map without any players on the team killing a single ridden. This can be done on the first level solo. Just run through the level to the safe house. The bots can kill whatever. Only player controlled cleaners can't kill any ridden. Bought a knife to a gunfight. Complete a level while getting at least 50 kills with melee weapons. Smorgasbord. Kill at least one of the non-boss mutations. Down, but not out. Kill 15 enemies while downed. The leftover miscellaneous trophies are Welcome to Apocalypse will be one, if not the first trophy you'll get once you leave Fort Hope for the first time. Expanding your arsenal will pop when you spend your first supply point. The Grateful 8 trophy unlocks after you complete a mission with each of the original 8 characters. Stack deck will unlock when you play 25 cards in a single match. If you play through an entire act from the beginning to the end, with the exception of Act 4, you'll get this if you keep buying the cards that you find during the level, so save your money for the cards when going for this trophy. 
trophies. You'll want to keep doing this anyway as more cards is more perks for you and the team. Swarmed is easy as all you'll have to do is win a game in swarm mode. The hardest part of this one is actually getting into a match as it is definitely not a popular mode. You may need to boost this, but if you see a good sale in the game, it may increase the chances that other players will try this mode out. The last trophy you'll need and the whole reason it takes at least 40 hours is good riddance. For this trophy, you'll need to kill over 53,600 ridden. There are areas that are good to farm these kills. I did both an AFK method and an active method. The AFK method I used takes place in Act 3, Garden Party. You'll meet the doctor in his mansion, line the entrance to the stairs, and eventually the hallway upstairs with barbed wire. Once you do all of that, hold yourself in the middle of the room with the bots, and they'll protect you from any mutation the barbed wire didn't kill. If you do this on recruit, it will be a lot easier. Just AFK it and you should get about a thousand kills an hour average. If that is too slow for you, you can do the active method. The active method I chose to use was at the end of Act 3 in the Road to Hell. You'll go through horde after horde passing gates. The ridden in this section will continually respawn. This method will get you about a thousand ridden kills every 20-30 minutes. Lock the bots in the safe room and go back out kill the ridden to your heart's content. You can use a build that increases drops of grenades mixed with melee combat as you will most likely run out of ammo after a while. That's pretty much it. Back for Blood has a pretty straightforward trophy list, which I definitely appreciate. These are the builds that I use for Nightmare and some specific builds like for Act 4 as DPS on Nightmare difficulty. A couple of the heal builds that I use is with Doc. If you want to be Mom, she has that good overheal build. You can overheal the people using Pumped Up, Numb, Antibiotic Ointment, Chemical Courage, Stimulants, Down in Front, Amped Up, Well Rested, Fit as a Fiddle, Fanny Pack, Poultice, Group Therapy, Rousing Speech, EMT Bag, and Charitable Soul, Holly's Nightmare Melee Build. The hardest build is Method. If you don't have Method, don't use this build yet. But you'll need Method, Safe Room Recovery, Life Insurance, Fit as a Fiddle, Vanguard, Scar Tissue, Fresh Bandage, Down in Front, Inspiring Sacrifice, Avenge the Fallen, Rousing Speech, Battle Lust, Spiky Bits, Cross Trainers, and Wooden Armor. I got into a group of, they were really trying real hard and they were actually pretty focused, but they just didn't have enough DPS. So maybe I just wasn't bringing the fire, so I decided to bring a lot of fire and light that fire on fire. For Act 4, if you are lacking DPS... I used um, assault rifles and sniper rifles, ammo belt, ammo for all, ammo pouch, shredder, front side focus, optics enthusiast, knowledge is power, confident killer, two is one and one is none, admin reload, reckless strategy, ridden slayer, tactical vest, mag carrier, and stock pouch. These two you could exchange with something else if you want to use like a different weapon. And you definitely want to have two is one and one is none. That way you can hold both like a sniper rifle or a assault rifle and something else. So it doesn't have to be like a, a secondary weapon. And then for grinding, you're going to have to kill over 50,000 zombies for that one trophy, which will most likely be the last trophy that you will need platinum this game. There's two ways to do it. I have a melee grind and a kill grind deck. Melee grind, you want to use holly and then just use durable body armor. Wooden Armor, Battle Lust, Fanny Pack, Meth Head, Slugger, Brazen, Combat Training, Heavy Hitter, Mean Drunk, Ignore the Pain, Spiky Bits, Berserker, and Mugger. Don't forget to get Heavy Hitter. You might want to exchange something and get Breakout. You will be by yourself trying to mana kill everything at the end of that one corridor where there's all those gates. The Ridden just keep coming and coming. You want to lock the bots inside the safe room and then kill everything that you can. I decided to use a melee build because you'll never run out of bullets. If you do want to use something else, use Pyro, Double Grenade Pouch, Grenade Pouch, Demolitions Expert, Improvised Explosive, Grenade Training, Piñata, Highwayman, Ammo Stash, Mag Carrier, Breakout, Fire in the Hole, Magician's Apprentice, Glass Cannon, and Confident Killer. You could probably go ahead and not do Glass Cannon. If you're having a little trouble, you can exchange that out with anything else, whatever you feel like you're lacking. If you feel like you need more stamina, I don't know why you need stamina with this build, but sometimes we all have problems with stamina. You can't get a thousand in an hour for the AFK grind if you go to that mansion. It has that big guy out there. You're just going to make barbed wire traps from the opening of the mansion all the way up the stairs, all the way to probably the last room that doesn't have a window. You'll just stay there and every so often go down and get the barbed wire that the ridden will drop and then just put more barbed wire everywhere. This will get you a thousand in an hour. To do that, you'll want to go ahead and use Carly. She has more quick inventory. She'll be able to hold a little bit more barbed wire. So you'll want to get tool belts, utility belt, belt clip, utility scavenger, pinata, improvised explosions, demolitions expert, fire in the hole, share the wealth, hazard pay, pyro, fit as a fiddle, buckshot bruiser, but you can probably change these out 
for something else if you don't want to use a shotgun you're in a mansion you know everybody's going to be really close but whatever fits your fiddle and you want to go ahead and get magician's apprentice too because more chances to not consume an accessory when used is another barbed wire that you can put on the ground to slow all the ridden down and just drop down a comment what you think about these builds that'd be great Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you get the Platinum or expands the games you play. If you have any questions, requests, or recommendations on the next game I should make a roadmap or full Platinum walkthrough guide, leave a comment down below. I do have an extensive backlog I'm going through, but your recommendations definitely bump them up on my list. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you want to see more roadmaps, walkthroughs, and trophy hunting videos. Click the bell notification to be notified when the next video drops. I am Platinum Mike, and I'll see you on the leaderboards. Peace!